classic combination na Kagura alongside the Minotaur. You can scatter them Makai. with the um, uh, Phantom Steed Barbiel coming in. And of course, to finish up their lineup, it's Brenny Pro locking that Akai. Yeah. I would have preferred, honestly, the Akai ban for uh, SEO. Because you, you already know na it's a Franco Akai. Mm. Eh, classic na classic na yung uh, combination, especially for Bren. And you need to limit the uh, number of tanks on the pool. You already got the Diggy and Cho. Kailangan mo na lang ilimit yung hero pool ng Bren. Pero with the Esmeralda ban, ang dami pa kasing mages eh. I don't really like the Esmeralda ban kasi si Yuji, wala siyang pakailang. Sige lang, ang dami ko bang hero. Actually, uh, the stocks on current mages have shifted so much. Even the tanks. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, dapat nag-ban out na lang sila ng tanke. As you said, take out the Akai. But uh, here we see the rise of Goshen. This is the story of the season. Diba? The rise of Goshen yeah. and the rise of Akai. Either of them uh, could have been uh, the banner, the pick here. But yeah, these are the lineups that's going to be going into Game 1. Midnight, what's your call, Game 1? Is it going to be SAE Olympians or Brenny Pro? Uh... Again, this is uh, Bren E Pro style, mm -hmm. uh, early aggression. They're at you're, home here. Yeah, if you're gonna look at uh, the draft of STIE Olympians, they don't really have ways to uh, mitigate the early aggression na pwedeng dalin sa kanila ng Bren E Pro. Although may carry sa kabilang side, mm -hmm. it's still the amount of pressure na pwedeng dalin ng Goshen into the mid game. Kasi looking at your mage, it's a Kagura. How do you stop Goshen from, uh, from him eliminating your, your teammates? Of course. Uh, all that. Uh the uh, Kagura could do here is to dodge essentially how Yuji is going to burst her down. But as we go into the Land of Dawn, we are just going to see the action unfold. On the left, it's the E-Olympians. They are the blue team. It's Chico on the Minotaur. Chester, ang ating Chu. Secret, si Claude. Jiku, ang ating Digi and Deja Vu on the Kagura. And on the right side, you have Bren, Ipro, Coco on the Limor, Ribo using the Kari Yuji as the Gushon. EJ on the Akai and Yele is the man sa kanyang Franco and Ribo, they actually should switch that up, no? Si Ribo naman, Ooh. yung maglalaro ng karing yun. And ito yung sinasabi natin kanina, Ribo, he's the flex player ng Brand E Pro. Every hero na iba to sa kanya, ng kanilang team. Sige lang, lalaroin ko, malakas Sige. ako eh. Ayoko yan! I got you, my friend. Besides the hero and the player assignment, medyo tama ka, blueprint play nga ang ginagawa ng Brand E Pro dito. This is the classic, uh, this is Switch, as you can see. Yeah. The Leomar has ended up in the mid at the minute mark. Yep. And uh, they're just playing footsies. Coco and Chester here, both fighters, they're just uh, pushing each other, both using even the same talent. Yeah. To explain the switch quickly, no, for the side of Bren e Pro, you know na yung Gushi mo after yung mag-level 2, he'd take the Crab Coin. Pero si Limord, wala siyang wave na ma makukuha doon. So he needs to go to the middle lane habang kinukuha ni uh, Gushi yung uh, Crab. Kasi the thing is, kapag kinuha pa ni Limord yung wave, malilimit yung XP gain ng isang Gushi. That's why you switch the lanes up. Para papuntahin mo yung offlane mo to the middle lane. Then yung next upcoming wave on the bottom lane, katabi ng Crab, makukuha ni Gushi. So tamang flexibility lang or tamang... Uh, resource control lang for Bren E Pro and that's why si Yuji dito makakapagrating kagad with the level 4 na huli niya si Jiku and that is the effect of the switch na sinabi natin kanina EJ to being punished here by the show pero di pa tapos ang Bren lalaman pa sila ooh nag miss yung hook from Yelhei that was uh, the uh, switch in action ladies and gentlemen nakapag level 4 si Yuji agad agad pero yun it turned into a trade uh, Yelhei had to bite the dust there but as we said, that engagement happened up top and ang gagawin ng SAE Olympians, they're gonna take advantage of that attention from Brenny Pro moving up top into a free turtle. Yuji here finding himself in trouble. Chico just pushing with uh, the Amino uh, Neo and Fury, not hitting anything. Ribo making sure he pays for it. DJ by Chico popping it, but Chico finds himself in the middle of four members of Brenny Pro. He bites the dust. Chico as well. It's the Leomord Coco calling for blood and down goes a little owl. And of course, Ooh, it's Deja Vu disengaging. DJ, is he going to turn this into a trade? He's not. Chester is going for it, but he does have to go down. Magbabayad ka, pumasok ka dito sa aming lugaan. Oh, that the snatch Damn. by Kagura Deja taking Vu. down the Franco. And nakalabas pa siya dito, Jiko nagahabol. Pero remember, Coco, he still wants to fight. Pero Bren e Pro, they have gotten what they wanted. Four kills, agad, agad, three minutes pa lang. Early aggr aggression is the name of the game for Bren e Pro. That uh, fight in Turtle actually Whoop. lasted quite a while and Kagura is not done. Deja Vu says, you know what, meron pa to eh. And throws out the umbrella, takes out Coco. It's a two for two trade there. Yeah, that was that, that was very weird. Alam niya na wala siyang mobility, wala yung phantom state niya. He should have backed off the moment na makita niya yung Kagura in the middle lane. You could have, you could have, you could have went to the middle lane eh. Kasi, well, bottom lane pala yun. You could have went to the middle lane kasi nandun yung Akai. But the thing is, when Ebro, they want the levels on EJ as well. 
Here we are up top. Medyo libre ang Bren dito. Rebo and Yelly Hayes uh, making sure uh, that uh, Hayes, uh, I'm sorry, that, that uh, Rebo gets his farm up. And as you saw, si uh, Yelly Hayes, nakamaskara na siya. Yep. And uh, yan yung uh, hinaharap ng mga players natin ngayon, mm -hmm. yung mas talaga. Kasi the ability to funnel your uh, your resources to the main core, in, in this case, you have a Liam Ward and a carry, so may dalawang option yung Bren Pro kung sino yung ipapunnel nila. And mataas din kasi yung wave clear capabilities with the Gushon and the Liam Ward. And currently, it's a Rebo who's getting all of this gold. Yuji and EJ just making sure that nobody pushes in through mid. Chico forcing the Turtle issue, not gonna engage soon. fully. I think at 4 minutes 20, it looks like Bren is going for it. Yeah, this is superior information again for Bren. The moment na makita nila yung uh, Turtle mag respond, they already going, they're already heading towards it. They don't even want to defend the bottom lane. Nandyan yung Leomord to stall the push of STIE Olympians. What matters is the objective. Yung Turtle, kailangan na kailangan natin yan. It is a buff onto uh, Yuji here. He does uh, lay down the smackdown. And Coco finding himself in trouble. Chico committing that Minoan Fury for one kill. Here comes the cavalry. Brenny Pro going into their own turret. Chico a little too deep. Yuji not dealing enough damage, but EJ is here oh, for it Yuji. as well. It's uh, disengaged. Oh, Yelly Hayes hooking in the diggy. Chico bites the dust. Yelly Hayes finding himself in trouble. Chester is here. Babawi ba. The owl can only do so much. Yep, and this is the downside of running a uh, carry lineup. No, you, you're always fighting 4v5. Although there's a cloud on STI Olympians, mas mataas yung, uh, yung lane presence ng STI. Because if you think about it, si Kari, he doesn't really he doesn't really push out the wave against the cloud. At the same time, if you have one hero na hindi nakikita ng uh, Bren E Pro, they shouldn't really fight. And the cloud is, I'm mean, sorry, the, the, the carry is just not as mobile. Yeah. So hindi siya ganun kabilis gumalaw. If a carry gets caught uh -huh. out, it's usually over. And there's a Demon Hunter Sword already on the cloud for Bren E Pro. They really need to step up yung uh, pressure dito against STIE Olympians. Nakakapag-farm ng mapayapa sa secret. And si Ribo pa yung mapapahamak dito. That's the killing spree on Kagura and Lightning Truncheon picked up here. Maagang Lightning Truncheon yan for Deja Vu. That's what I was talking about. If Carry gets caught out immediately, what do you have? Phantom step. That's all. If it was the Claude on secret, napag BMI out pa yan. Yep. Instantly. So yeah, that is going to turn uh, SA Olympians lead into a 2,000 gold gap against Bren E Pro. They do have two towers down on E Pro. Uh, this is looking very hard as every minute that goes by, sabi mo nga, SA Olympians are uh, favored. Yeah, uh, for Bren E Pro, I saw na naka high and dry yung Liam natin. I might be wrong. But that's the con consequence ng emblem choice niya, no? He wants to play Channel alone. Pero for Bren E Pro, you really need to play a score. Remember, you have a carry on your lineup. Here we are. The Olympians pushing uh, here in mid. They are going to push this down. E Pro losing one more turret. They have not pushed a single lane. Cool. It looks like E Olympians is going to get this uh, turtle for free. Yelly Hayes trying to uh, break the line. Si Chico, ang galing niya protecta. They are going to get this for free. EJ not exactly in fighting condition right now. And ito yung hinaharap natin for STIE Olympians. No? Your capability to take objectives after objectives. Alam nila na ito yung kill target nila. Ito yung lane na kailangan natin. Pero hold that thought. Yelly Hayes dito nahuli si Cho. Bloody Hunt onto the Cho. Getting him back. Coco as the cleanup. They get that little pick off. Currently sitting 6 at 6. This is a big team fight. Coco getting caught by Jiku. He bites the dust. EJ trying to save his ally, but it's not gonna happen. Babak muna sila dito, and uh, they are gonna try to reset. It's a one for one trade, true for Liam Ward. Oh, Bren, they lost the momentum here. STIE Olympians. Remember, you are scaling with the Claude. Although you have a carry on the side of Bren E. Pro, yung Goshen sa Liam Ward, medyo na pag niyan. They need the snowball. But for STIE Olympians, we can play the scaling game. They are gonna play the scaling game as they push this in. Si Chico, wala na siyang pake. He is behind the turret, pushing UG away. This turret is gonna go for free. The Olympians are stomping here, ladies and gentlemen. They have a 5,000 gold lead on top of Epro, and Epro is finding it hard right now. It's Rebo and Yelly is up top. Chester pushing it. Bloody Hunt locked onto him. He is gonna go down. Dalawa yatayan. Medyo matapang. Yep, that's a kill for the carry. Remember, naka bounty hunter yan. So the amount of gold that he can get. From those skills, kailangan ingatan ng STA Olympians. Remember, carry pa rin yan. Lahat ng target na makita niya, mapupunit niya. And here we are with Secret and Jiku protecting mid. Susunod dyan si Jiku at si Day. Javu, lightning truncheon right now, currently on Yuji. Is that gonna be enough for him to snowball at this 8 minute 30 second mark? 
Uh, I don't think uh, that is gonna be enough kasi considering na how Chick is playing the game, he knows na hindi siya kaya i-burst down negosyon. And kada makikita niya si Yuji rito, siya yung nilalapitan to block the blades and the swords. And that's gonna go well as you More can see here. Gold soon. staff being picked up by Rebo. Uh, I think Rebo's doing okay. Yeah. Wag lang siya ma-pick off ulit. Yeah, for sure. And si Goshen dito no meron din pala siyang uh, clock of destiny. So the amount of damage that he can dish out medyo hindi na rin na uh, pwedeng i-underestimate ng STIU Olympics. But then again, this Minotaur has been playing like he is immortal and he is. He is kind of immortal in this game kasi kung titingnan mo, you carry mo hindi pa pwedeng lumaban yung Immort na shutdown and si Yuji, kailangan proper target yung uh, i-burst down niya. Here comes a Lord Contest coming in from Brenny Pro. Are they going to get it? No. Deja Vu takes it, EJ jumping oh. in, Jiku popping the time oh journey, my God. there's a three man, Minow and Fury, Coco taking out Jiku, but it's duet. three members for Brenny Pro going down, Chico with one health left, he gets it, four for one, a trade, I think that's fine, uh. this is gonna be Lord marching down bot for the E Olympians, Chester March clearing the wave, this is looking like an E Olympians game so far, Second tier tower going down for Bren E Pro. Pira ko sapa natin gaano kagaling ito mga players ng STIE Olympians. That was without a doubt na hindi na nila kailangan pag-usapan the moment na tumalon si EJ for for the side of Bren E Pro. Sabi ni Digi, sige, kita times journey ko doon. Iminowan si Fiora mo yung apat sa likod. Mm -hmm. Inyo na yan. Okay lang ako mawala dito inyo na yan. Yeah, exactly. And si EJ nawalan siya ng kwenta ron sa team fight na yon. Yes, he is pushing heroes out uh, towards the uh, side of ESTA Olympians. The problem is, nakahat na setro si Chico, pero ito nahook yung Minotaur natin. So that will be a kill for Bren E. Pro. Uh, is it gonna be enough though? I don't think it is. Here we are, Phantom Seed being called in by Coco, but they are taking a lot of yes, damage. Sir. Lord, Mega with kill. the help, and it's Shut Yuji down. up top getting a kill, pero it's not gonna be enough. There is two for two. Lord is still alive, but just barely. It's a defensive role here for Brenny Pro. Kaya ba nila? They do take out Lord. Jiku's gonna bite the dust here. Courtesy of Yuji. It's secret and Deja Vu. They have a lot of damage output. And Deja Vu is pushing the Lord issue. Secret is just cleaning kaya, up. Kaya siguro to. Ni Secret kumapasok siya. He does have Blazing Duet still. But they are gonna go for the objective. They are focusing down the core. And this is game one going to the E Olympians. Oh my god. STIO E Olympians.